ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! K -check. I am Junelle Labor. Ako po si Chen San Pascual, and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatangaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Contestant number one is John, who loves to entertain people, although he believes that comedy is a hard thing to do. Contestant number two is Terence, a UP student taking up BS Mechanical Engineering. Contestant number three is Ives, an aspiring artist and model who spends time watching random videos on Facebook and YouTube and dreams of being on TV. Contestant number four is Lance, a third-year BA Philippine Studies student from UP Diliman, who is also an award-winning published poet. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Rowi Daroy Morales, Professor of Law at the UP College of Law. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! John, how many minutes are there in two hours? 120. Okay, check. Terence, in what part of a plant can you find petals and sepals? Flower. Okay, check. Ives, in what country can you find the islands of Bali and Java? Indonesia. Okay, check. Lance, how many days are there in three weeks? Uh, 21. Okay, check. John, what is the English word for the Spanish number Otsenta? 80. Okay, check. Terence, how many months are there in two years? 24. Okay, check. Ives, in, in government institutions, what does the E stand for in DOLE or D-O-L-E? Employment. Okay, check. And Lance, what planet in the solar system has the most prominent rings? Saturn. Okay, check. John. In what province can you find Pagsanghan Falls? Laguna. Okay, check. Terence, what is the English word for the Spanish number 70? 70. Okay, check. Ives, how many seconds are there in three minutes? 160. Number 180. Lance, in what country can you find Phuket and Chiang Mai? Thailand. Okay, check. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Grabe yung round na yun, no? Ang gagaling ng ating mga kabataan, ha? Correct. Oo, oo. Gusto ko talaga yung consistently nasasagot nila yung mga tanong. At cool and composed sila. Mm -hmm. Speaking of cool and composed, Prof. Rowe, cool and composed ka ba doon sa round na yun? Ako? Oo. Uh -huh. uh, I think I was all sa lahat ng ilan sila? Anim? Apat lang. Ay, hindi, marami ako ibang nakikita. And of course, ang uh, gusto kong, uh, ang lalo kong nakikita ka ay si Lance, di ba? Kasi ikaw lang ang may kulay. Um, ako po ay colorblind for your information. May katanungan ka ba kay Lance, Prof. Rowe? Yes po. Uh, dahil ikaw ay isang poeta, pwede bang mag-usap ang mga tao sa pamamagitan lang ng mga matang nangungusap? Uh, palagay ko po, ano, uh, baka kapag-usap naman din po sa pamamagitan ng mata. Kasi yan yung bintana sa ating kaluluwa. Ayan. Ang inaasahan ko ay isang sagot na puwesya din. <laughs> oh, mahirap mag-compose lang. Ano. 
Thank you po. Thank, thank you. you thank you so Maraming much. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat, Prof. Rowie and Lad. Ako kay Terrence. May katanungan ako. No? Mechanical engineering ang kurso mo. Tama ba? At third year ka na. So far, nai-enjoy mo ba ang mechanical engineering? <laughs> uh, I think I, I am enjoying it. Uh, compared to kung nasa iba akong course. First choice mo ang mechanical engineering? Opo. Okay. Kung hindi ka mechanical engineering, ano ang course mo? Industrial engineer. Ah, engineering pa din. Okay, <laughs> sige. Kanya-kanyang trip yan, no? Ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next here on K-Check! pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Ano na nga ba ang nakuhang puntos ng ating mga contestants? John has 30 points, Terence, 30 points, Lance, 30 points, and Ives, 20 points. Diba? Ang gagaling, no? Perfect. Almost perfect oh, lahat. Oh, very no? tight ang labanan, oh, oh. ba? Makakahabol. Correct. Oo. Oh, ako, ako naman si Ives talaga ma-motivate ako, no? Oo, talagang naman. Talagang galingan sa next round. Siyempre. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin. Which great 19th century French military and political leader was born in the island of Corsica in 1769. Terence. Napoleon Bonaparte. The RM Award is regarded as Asia's premier prize and highest honor. It was named after which president? Terence. Ramon Magsaysay. Page. Which American city is nicknamed the Big Apple? Lance? New York. Raisins have been dried in the sun or by artificial heat. What fruit are raisins made from? John? Grapes. Kate. Which king of the United Kingdom acceded to the throne on September 8, 2022? Ives? King Charles. Pakikompleto? King Charles II. Mali. Terence? King Charles III. King Charles. Meaning elegance, what is the nickname of the Philippine national men's basketball team? Ives? Gilas Pilipinas. King Charles. Known as the oldest of the major religions of the world, which faith has adherents who worship a supreme deity known as Krishna? Lance? Hinduism. Kate. In chemistry, what do you call the table of elements arranged in order of atomic number so that elements with similar atomic structure appear in vertical columns? Terence? Octet rule. Malay. Periodic table. Which Filipina won the U.S. Open Girls Singles Tennis Championships last September? Terence? Alex Iala. Kate. Who were the Scandinavian seafaring pirates and traders who raided and lived in Europe and the North Atlantic Islands between the 18th and 11th centuries? Vikings. Which folk hero is the friend of Little John and the sweetheart of Maid Marian? Robin Hood. Which 20th century English novelist is known for writing the allegorical tale Animal Farm? Lance? George Orwell. Kate. 
And that's the end of the K-Check Bobby Leeson round. Mag points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Terrence with 100 points, followed by Lance with 90 points, John has 50 points, and Ives has 30 points. Mukha nagkakaalaman na no, sa round nito, oh, di ba? Oo, pero makakahabol pa, di ba? Pakiramdam ko. Pwede, Gusto pwede. Gusto mong mag-ano tayo? Nararamdaman ko din. Okay. Tanungin natin ang ating panel of experts. Sige. Prof. Marian, sa tingin mo makakahabol pa ba yung iba? Of course! Hmm. Parating may pag-asa. Correct. Forever. Uh -oh. At si Ives, sana Ives ay ano ka pa. More pa, ha? Mm -hmm. Pero gusto kong tanong yan si Ives. Go ahead. Kasi aspiring ano siya, actress and model. Or nakakapag-model ka na ba and act? Um, mostly model po. Uh, acting, wala pa po gaano. Saan ka nagmamodel? Um, nagkakaroon po ng mga shoots, pero before po, I did runways. So, uh, several runways po, uh, fashion runways. Hindi naman sa airport runway yan. <laughs> so, talaga rumampa ka sa airport. At mahilig ka manood ng videos? Yes, random videos po. Vlogs, uh, sa Facebook, random uh, uh, mga trivial videos, mga ganun po. So hindi ang gusto mo talaga ay maging artista, mag-appear on TV? Yes, actually. So good luck sa iyong career. Thank you po. Parang gusto mag ano, ni Ma'am Maria ng mga tips na mamaya siguro sa... Siguro sa backstage. Oh, mm -hmm. Tanungin natin, si Prof. Neil, baka may gusto rin siyang tanungin na ating contestant. Yung tanong ko para kay John. Diyan yung tanong, sa intro sabi, John loves to entertain people. Baka yung tanong ko, ano mga bagay ang nagpapasaya sa'yo? Uh, marami pong bagay na nagpapasaya sa akin. Unang-una na po yung mga bata dahil mahilig po talaga ako sa mga bata. Gusto ko nga po ng 12 na anak. <laughs> <laughs> Joke lang po. Pero kidding aside, mahilig po ako sa mga bagay na artsy and fun and sobrang adventurous po. Ganun po. May follow-up question. Ano kaya ang sense of adventure ng isang tao na mahilig mag-entertain? Okay. I think po yung pagsali po sa mga gantong game show po, which is hindi lang po nag-showcase ng talino and wit. And napapakita ko rin po na I am fun. Yeah. Wow, speechless ako. Thank you, John. Kinaya mo yun, Prof. Neil, no? Anyway, this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on K-Check! Welcome back! Points recap muna tayo. Nangunguna si Terence with 100 points, followed by Lance, 90 points, John, 50 points, and Ives, 30 points. Hahabol yan si Ives. Nararamdaman ko. Oo, hmm. pwedeng-pwedeng makahabol, uh -oh. di ba? So at the same time, di ba, ang yung confidence ng iba, pwedeng-pwedeng ma-boost pa sa round na ito. Oo okay? naman. So we'll find out kung makakahabol pa ang iba mga contestants in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points and wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin. Prof. Marian, question number one, please. Handa na ba kayo sa powerful questions? There are five forces that act on a structure. Which force pushes a structure in opposite directions? Parents. Friction. Okay, there are five forces. These are shear, bending, stress, tension, torsion. Engineering yan, di ba? The correct answer is shear. Medyo mahirap yung tanong ni Prof. Marian. Prof. Neil. Ito tingin ko kayang-kaya ito na ating four contestants. Tinikling 
is a popular dance identified with what ethno-linguistic group? Matatagpuan ang pangkat etniko na ito sa Eastern Visayas. Okay. Makikita ang Eastern Visayas sa mga isla ng Samar at Leyte. Ang tamang sagot ay waray. Hindi hmm, ko alam yun, Prof. Neil. Prof. Rowie, your question please. Marami ako natuto doon. No? Akala ko tikling. Diba? Ito ang aking tanong na alam nating lahat. Pwera lang siguro sila. What building houses the National Museum? Ang tamang sagot ay, alam niyo po, nung araw, dyan sa gitna ng Maynila, ay may mga tatlong buildings, yung DOF, uh, Department of Finance, yung ating Congress, na alam niyo yung National Museum ngayon, Uh, nandudun po yung ating National Museum, yun po ang ating original Congress building bago lumipat sa ating natawag natin ngayon na Batasang Pambansa. And uh, malapit po ito sa Luneta. Naalala ko nung araw, pagkatapos naming mag-demonstrate doon at mag-protesta, diretso na kami sa Manila Hotel kasi walking distance lang yon At isa pa rin yung historic building. So, it's at the old Congress building. Parang gusto ko makasama si Prof. Rowie sa ganyang klase ng travel, no? Oh, okay. yes. I will be your tourist guide. Thank you, Prof. Rowie. Prof. Mario, next question, please. Sige, something historical and something you know from high school. Hugutin nyo ito, ha? We need the full name. The process of pasteurization is named after which famous French microbiologist? Eric. Louis Pasteur. Okay, this French chemist, microbiologist, conducted a series of experiments demonstrating that heating wine killed microbes and preventing early spoilage. Ito rin yung ginagawa natin sa milk, kaya meron tayong pasteurized milk. The correct answer is Louis Pasteur, kasi French siya. Okay, check! Thank you. Prof. Neil, next question please. Ang susunod na tanong ay which political party formed in 1907 dominated pre-war Philippine politics and facilitated the presidencies of Ramon Magsaysay, Carlos Garcia, and Ferdinand Marcos during the Third Republic? Lance? Nationalista. Yeah. Ang partidong ito ay kalaban ng Liberal Party panahon na dalawang partido lang ang lumalahok sa ating eleksyon. Merong Liberal Party at yung tamang sa Nationalist Party. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Rowie. Okay. Ito ay napakadali. Uh, English at Tagalog yung aking tanong. Who wrote English yun? Who wrote ito Tagalog? Who wrote mga kababaya, kababayang dalaga ng Malolos. Lance? Jose Rizal. Thank you, Prof. Rowie. Prof. Maria, next question. Ako alam natin, walang mga kasagot nun, di ba? Di ko alam, hindi alam ko yun. Okay, math naman. Pero, alam nyo dapat. Alam nyo sana ito. A Beautiful Mind is a biographical drama film based on the life of a brilliant mathematician. He won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1994. Who is this mathematician? Terence. Chan Nash. This mathematician made fundamental contributions to game theory, differential geometry, and the study of partial differential equations, my area. Chan Nash is correct. Okay, check. Okay, yung lang. Yun ko Prof. Neil. In sports history, name the two boxers who squared off in a heavyweight boxing championship dubbed Trilla in Manila in 1975. 
wala palang mahilig sa boxing sa mga contestants pero legend ang dalawang ito okay so yung uh, final fight nila ay ay may bansag na Trila in Manila na ginanap sa uh, Araneta Coliseum noong 1975 so ang tamang sagot ay Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier thank you Prof. Rowe next question All right. Um, who is the famous European artist who cut off his ear? Let's. Vincent Van Gogh. I'm sorry, can you say? Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh. All right, he's Dutch. And um, one, of, um, one of the conditions that he felt Uh, during his lifetime, even during the early part of um, his career as an artist, was that he was seeing things. He was seeing things. They didn't know then that uh, there were mental conditions that uh, had manifestations on his body. And he was hearing things, and he was so frustrated that nobody was listening to him, maybe because there was nobody talking to him. And in his frustration, uh, likewise, because he also ran out of subjects, uh, I think you can remember his, um, his uh, Starry Starry Night that was named uh, after one of his paintings that was, yes, Vincent Van Gogh, who's, uh, as I said, Dutch. And in his condition, ang dami niyang naririnig, walang nakasumasagot, ang dami niyang naririnig na hindi niya alam kung totoo o hindi. Parang uh, he was so confused cut off his own ear. In fact, uh, he made a painting of himself with, um, with a bandage on his ear. So that is our famous Vincent Van Gogh of Starry Starry Night. Thank you, Prof. Rowe. Of course, Vincent Van Gogh is Jack. Prof. Marian, next question. Diagnosed bipolar. Diba? Van Gogh is bipolar. My question, ATP is the source of energy for use and storage at the cellular level. It is a nucleoside triphosphate consisting of a nitrogenous base called adenine, a ribose sugar, and three serially bonded phosphate groups. Ang tanong, what does ATP stand for? Adenosine triphosphate. Okay. Mahaba rin tanong ko. Alam nyo na ang sagot. Adenosine triphosphate. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil. Nose bleeding experience. Ang galing ng mga nagahabulan para sumagot. Pero hindi ko alam yung tamang sagot para dun sa tanong ni Ma Marian. Ito yung susunod kong tanong. According to Cambridge Dictionary, which discipline refers to the study of the nature of reality and existence, of what it is possible to know, and of right and wrong behavior or a particular set of beliefs. Terence. Ontology. Paulit nga, Terence. Ontology. Okay, mali. Lance. Ethics. Mali. John. Theology. Theology yung sagot mo dyan. Mali. Yung sagot ni Lance kanina, I think sumagot ka ni ethics, di ba? Yung ethics, isa sa branches ng disiplinang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay philosophy. philosophy. So, bawat disiplina meron ito. Let's say, si Mamarian, philosophy, so merong, uh, ma- mathematics rather, may philosophy of mathematics. Ganun din sa law, philosophy of law. Ako din mula sa history, may philosophy of history. Okay. Thank you. Prof. Rowe. Right. What is the name? Ano pangalan mo? What is the name of the temple on the Uh, on the Athenian Acropolis, uh, which is of course in Greece, that was dedicated to the goddess Athena during the 5th 
century BC. Colosseum. Uh, you said col Colosseum. Is that the, was that the answer? Which is in Rome. This is in Greece. I am talking about the. I'm talking about the wrong answer. Uh, I heard a whisper, and it was made before the bell, but I don't think it was registered. So mic? Yes, it's the Parthenon. No? Um, the Parthenon is located at the top of a hill, and it was dedicated to the different gods and goddesses of ancient Greece. Now, uh, if we recall, Athena was a runner. Remember that story about that apple? And um, um, there was a race. For some reason, during those times, races were very, very important. I guess this is a race, no? And we are racing for time and the right answer, so it's important to us as well. And to immortalize those gods and goddesses, by the way, small g uh, gods and small g goddesses, um, there was um, erected this Parthenon, which is, um, of course, because it was meant to immortalize, built on top of the hill of a hill. Um, perhaps uh, some of us, and I think all of us, should get that opportunity to see it sometime. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Prof. Roy. Marami ako na take note doon kanina, no? Pupuntahan ko lahat ng yan, no? And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Lance, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 195 points. We'll see Lance again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to John, Perrins, and Ives for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Morian, Professor Neil, and Professor Rowey. This is Jensen Pasqual. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.